My name is Dr. Rupanda Sekhu and I'm a gynecologic oncologist who has been doing uh, gynecological cancers since the year 96. I'm associated with this institute that is Rajiv Gandhi Cancer Hospital since the year 2004. My interest in cancers, specifically gynecological cancers, uh, started when I was a student. When I saw that ladies who had cervical cancer especially were treated almost like outcasts. We would put in the speculum, see a growth where there should actually be a cervix and quickly send them off to the radiation therapy without really going into the details of how come she reported so late. How come she completely ignored the symptoms of cervical cancer which are there for a very long time? And how come she did not know at all that this is a disease which can be caught at a very, very early stage? Just a little bit of health care, just a little bit of knowledge can do volumes in preventing this disease. And how sad it is that because of her and her disease, the whole family is going to suffer so much. The family is going to lose the central pillar of their very existence. So from then onwards, I started concentrating more on gynecological cancers than obstetrics. Because I thought everyone can bring in babies. They're such lovely things. They give us so much joy. But this sad spectrum of life is very less attended to. Fortunately, as on today, we have wonderful ways of curing this cancer and if detected early, we can look at something like an 80 to 90 percent chance of a final survival. Though we should not forget that if we catch it at stage 3, the survive, 5 year survival still remains at 40 percent. Not only that, we are fortunate enough to be part of a research which has now discovered that the actual causative agent of cervical cancer is a virus. That is human papilloma virus. And it was Haral Zorn of Germany who has been awarded the Nobel Prize for discovering that it is the human papilloma virus and its persistence in the cervical menu which actually causes this cancer. By detecting the human papilloma virus in a lady, she can be cautioned. It is not that she is now going to have cancer. No, it is not that. It is just that she has one of the strongest chances of developing cancer. And if we repeat this test at timely intervals, we can surely either detect a pre-invasive lesion or an early cervical lesion and her chances of cure go up that much more.